Hello and welcome back to this channel. In this video I will be doing some large format film photography in a place I have been to before, which is Alvão Natural Park. I will be shooting black and white film on a crown graphic 4x5 camera. We had a few stops along the way. We stopped in a city called Vila Real to try the famous Castéis de Tentugal, an award-winning pastry from Portugal. Later that day, we finally reached our camping spot for the next three days. It was packed with people, which made it really hard to have a little bit of long-awaited peace. is going off and today I am in a location that I've recorded a while back a few months back uh, this is my during my vacation time I've decided to uh, record this video because when I was at this location previously uh, it was uh, winter time and is it's a big lake and now it's summertime so we're going to uh, hopefully take some pictures uh, of the changes and of things that interest me in this spot. It's a pretty cool spot. Here it is, the famous crown graphic. Pretty old, pretty dusty, but it works, right? One of the things I wanted to talk about is how ingen ingenious are these graphmatic bags. I cannot show you right now because I have three and they're all loaded. So I cannot, I cannot show you how, uh, how they operate. Uh, but basically you load six shots onto it, six sheets of uh, four by five onto it. And uh, you can just scroll through the six sheets individually and you can keep shooting you don't have to keep loading right here what you do in a 4x5 you cock the shutter and this lens it's up here boom and then fire here boom or you can use the cable release mm, you don't touch the uh, the lens and it's a little bit safer and uh, you fire in the lens you have here, the uh, you can choose the shutter speed up here and down here you have the uh, aperture. So I was a bit skeptical about leaving my tent this uh, this morning. It's a little bit cold and I, I wasn't feeling it, but coming here, firing my first shot with the, the 4.5, that, uh, that doubt and that skepticism really disappeared and I, I'm glad that I have came. Look at this. You see the sun just touching the other side. It's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing day. Right now the light is moving too fast. It really is. The sun, because of the clouds, it, you have a little bit of sun for a split second and, and then it goes away. We're gonna have to be a little bit deliberate with our shots because we take a lot of time to set up a shot uh, in a large format. So. I need to set it up and wait for the light. Right now I'm setting up the shot on isolating those three branches. I get a little bit of the um, get a little bit of the, the shore there, the limit, but it's a compromise I'm willing to make. And I'm uh, because the water is a little bit agitated. I'll settle up for a longer shutter speed so I can smooth that out. I don't want the texture of the of the water to get in the way. The uh, lower 
lower uh, shutter speeds are not working properly and I can show you for example here second you can hear the lens hear it it's more than a second you can see half a second half a second again it gets stuck a little bit there so it's not accurate you can see a second again it's not accurate so I'm gonna use the bulb I'm gonna I think it's a little bit more accurate if I just count it so uh, a second 32 boom see if everything is working boom boom yeah it's working so let's do it This rock here caught my interest a little bit because on one side it's completely round and smooth and on the other side that's having a little bit more shadow. I found it pretty interesting. One of the things that's not helping is the light but I don't think it will change anytime soon so I'm just gonna work with what I have here. Looking at the sky, I don't know if you can see, right there is where the sun is. Oh, up there. I don't think it's it's gonna change anything. Uh, 32 aperture uh, and uh, one second shutter speed again. Let's see how this one turns out, shall we? A couple of different different spots here. One where I took a shot of the reflection in ice because the water is, was uh, frozen back then but it's completely dry as you can see not completely you have some puddles there but for the most part it's dry that little tree was uh, one of photographed um, during the winter and it's it was standing just outside of, of the water that one there and uh, here you have different textures you have a little bit of the part of the rock that was underwater for the most part of the year and then this this uh, um, this part here that's that has a little bit more textured more uh, um, green and then there's this little tree just uh, here growing I wanted I wanted a picture here but I don't know if I will be able to get it I want to isolate this tree so I don't I don't want that information back there uh, getting in the way so hopefully if I get a little bit close and I can go a little bit down I can isolate it but it's not easy I think we have a nice one I'm gonna meter for it I want a little bit of a, of a faster shutter speed because the wind is blowing the uh, the the tree and I want a faster shutter speed so I can freeze that we're gonna just wait until the wind calms down a bit so that I have a little bit of stillness in that tree I'm uh, right now waiting for some light because I, I like that crack over there on the rock somewhere. I hope you like this video. I'll show you the the rest of the images that I've that I've made. I hope you like this one. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below. You know the drill. And uh, I'll see you when I see you in the next one, hopefully. Goodbye. Oh, and one last thing. I would love you to check out my print shop on your way out. It's something I've invested in recently and would like to hear your feedback. Handmade silver gelatin prints at an affordable price. Maybe it's your cup of tea.
The link will be in the description down below.